Tonight on BCN Weekly News, in this week's special report, a recap of Mound Day festivities. Luke Bader covers the activities live from the event. Also, Bria College Radio is said to host its largest event of the year, Blue Palooza. This is an event you won't want to miss. And Berea College celebrates its annual Pride Week. Reporter Miley Weekly covers the events planned by the Bell Hook Center. All of this and more coming up soon tonight on BCN Weekly News. Live from BCN Arts Studio in Berea, Kentucky, this is BCN Weekly News. Good evening and welcome back to another newscast of BCN Weekly News. My name is Matt Carmack. Students at Berea College were excited this week to have their Wednesday off. All classes in non-essential labor were canceled for the annual Mound Day celebration. Reporter Luke Bader reports live from the event. Thank you, Mac. I'm here at the Pinnacles today to celebrate Berea's annual Mountain Day event. Once a year in Berea, students get the day off from labor and classes and head for the Pinnacles in an event called Mountain Day. This morning at 6 a.m., students hiked the East Pinnacle for an early morning sunrise watch. After the hike, students descended the mountain for the rest of the festivities, including musical and dance performances, information booths, and apple cider and kettle corn. I talked to some of the participants at Mountain Day to find out what it means to them. My favorite thing about the Mountain Day was uh, the singing. I loved the choir. So when you come here, it's freezing cold, but like you watch the performances, the music ensembles, and look at me, it's like 38 degrees now, I'm so hot. I think my favorite thing about Mountain Day is everybody getting out of the buildings, getting off campus, getting to come out here, enjoy nature, enjoy the woods, and just get to experience a little bit of our beautiful region here in Appalachia. Berea College Mountain Day 2022 was a great experience for community members and students to get together to enjoy nature. For BCN Weekly News, this was Luke Bader reporting from the Pinnacle. Back to you, Mac. Thanks, Luke. From dances, kettle corn, and student organizations, we hope that students enjoyed this year's event. In other news, Blue Palooza is coming up this weekend. Interested in seeing live bands, food trucks, games, and more? You won't want to miss this event held Friday, October 21st from 5 to 9 p.m. Live bands including Slut Pill, The Local Honeys, and student performances will be featured at the event. Admission is free and open to the public at the Quad. We hope to see you there. Last week, Berea College celebrated its annual Pride Week. This event, hosted by the Bell Hook Center, allows LGBTQ students a safe space for activities and events. Reporter Maya Weekly has more on this. Thanks, Mac. The Pride events from this week were presented by the Bell Hook Center and started with a coming out day party on the quad. It featured a performance from the band Thelma and the Sleaze and had pizza and rainbow cupcakes to serve the students who attended. More Pride Week events included two movie showings on Tuesday and Thursday, a student activist presentation with lunch provided on Wednesday, and a mindfulness hour on Friday in the Bell Hook Center. The events were wrapped up with a drag show in the theater building on Saturday. I interviewed Berea alum and drag queen Baby St. James about the importance of pride and community for college students. Um, when I came here, I felt very alone. I felt like no one had ever understood me truly. And so when I came here, the first time I was ever on this campus just visiting, I was like, I feel like I belong here. And I think that when you come to where you do get a second family, and I think that is um, something that happens a lot with queer people. And so I just want to bring my drag and my queer performance art back to uh, my alma mater because this is where I learned to be myself. And I couldn't have become baby unless I knew how to be MJ or Megan. Um, so I think that's very important. The events from this past week brought space for the community to celebrate and thrive. It also showed the student body that queer performance can make a big impact on the community and brings acceptance to the college. That's all we have so far for Berea College Pride Week, but we will be sure to keep you updated on more local Pride events to bring the community together. Stay loud and stay proud. This was Amaya Weekly from the Bell Hook Center reporting for BCN Weekly News. Back to you, Mac. It is safe to say that this year's Pride Week was a success. We look forward to seeing the changes in next year's Pride Week. Coming up next on BCN Weekly News, the Asian Student Union celebrates Diwali. Reporter Anapriya Dixit has more on the holiday and the different events offered by the college. 
and an introduction of Halloween specials. The Appalachian Center hosts a Spooky Stories event coming up. We'll be right back after this short break. What's your mask say about you? It says you care about others. So mask up and save lives. Are you having trouble keeping your dog or cat? Don't surrender your pet. Let the Kentucky Humane Society help. Our free pet helpline offers advice on whatever animal issue you're experiencing. The Healthy Pets Clinic provides low-cost vaccines and basic veterinary care, and our SNP Clinic offers affordable spay and neuter. If you're interested in training your dog, we offer behavior classes, as well as private training for puppies and adults. Don't give up. Improve the lives of you and your pet. Go to kyhumane.org for help. Fact, COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Millions of doses have already been given in the United States, and these vaccines have the most intensive safety monitoring in U.S. history. If you have questions, get answers from a reliable source, cdc.gov. Thanks for staying with us. October 24th, Diwali, or India's biggest holiday begins. Berea College celebrates with different events and activities offered. Reporter Anapriya Dixit has more on the upcoming celebration. Birria College is celebrating Diwali, a prominent Hindu festival, on October 30th. The event is being organized by the Asian Student Union and co-sponsored by the Student Government and the Center of Diversity, Inclusion and Equity. The event would take place from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. in Woodspin Commons. Many student volunteers are also contributing to the event by cooking food for more than 200 students. The event will start with a presentation about Diwali, the Festival of Lights, to make the attendees aware of the significance of the event. The South Asian Fusion Dance Group will also be performing on popular Bollywood music. Activities like rangoli making and henna will also be organized, followed by dinner. Malaya Wright, the Vice President of the Asian Student Union, shares the significance of celebrating Diwali on Birria College campus. And I'm African American, but what's really important to me being at Birria College is that there's so many um, different people, a lot of diverse people. And so I think why Diwali is really important is that they're, uh, like, w this is a Christian-based college, um, but it's important to have different religion and dis different religious traditions, and it also makes people feel at home, right, or, or gives them a semblance of home, because being United States, it's very different, it's a very different culture. So Students, faculty, and staff are invited to celebrate the Festival of Lights with home-cooked food and dancing. This is Anupriya Dixit reporting from BCNR Studio for BCN Weekly News. Thank you, Anupriya. We hope to see a large turnout on the 24th. Brought to you by the Asian Student Union and the Cosmopolitan Club, we expect this to be a grand event. In other news, Halloween events begin on campus as early as the 22nd. Come to the Appalachian Center next Saturday at 2 p.m. to be a part of Spooky Stories Night. Hot apple cider and snacks are provided. Hosted by the Folk Circle Association of Berea, storytellers will be sharing spooky stories at the event. If you have a ghost story to tell as well, this is your chance to share these stories. Appalachian Center Program Assistant Heather Dent provides us with this information. Quote, Storytelling plays a big role in Appalachian culture. As do ghost tales and superstitions with it being spooky season, we decided to host a story swap led by Chip Bailey from the Berea Storytellers Crew. We invite students to come and share their own ghost stories or superstitions, or sit in and listen while drinking a mug of hot apple cider, and unquote. To get involved, register on Berea Engage for the two-hour event. With Halloween just around the corner, this is an event you'll want to attend. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. I'm Matt Carmack. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Berea College News Radio, and watch our show online at www.bcnewsradio.com. Good night. Thank you.